Hello everyone, Freedy Hero here, and welcome to today's video where I'll be covering this week's events and limited bounties for February 23rd till the 1st of March. Firstly, let's go over this week's limited bounties. We have the following. Hunt 3 Bird Wyverns, Hunt Anjanam 4 times, and Slay 5 Tempered Monsters. Do all this and you'll get rewarded with a Golden Egg and a Gold Wyvern Print. The first event we have is a Yaku with that event quest, which puts you in the arena and face off against Kulu Yaku and Tizi Tizi Yaku. This is a low level 4 star quest which is ideal for newer players who want to get their starter gear and weapons more quickly while progressing through the story. Not so much ideal for high level players unless you want to get their low level materials for crafting weapon parts or armour. Next we have the Poison Posse event quest, where you'll be put up against Puke Puke, Raffian and Raffalos. This is a 5 star quest which can be challenging for many as going up against both Raffian and Raffalos can be a pain to deal with as they can both poison you easily and they like to hang in the air a lot. I advise you to bring some antidotes to cure your poison, flashbugs and some flash bombs to prevent them from going into the air and to also cut off their tails to decrease the chances of them poisoning you. The event doesn't give you anything special but it does allow you to farm them for low level materials that you may need for their weaponry or you can try to get some large to miniature crowns if you're lucky. Next we have the Wildsbower Bolero event quest which puts you up against all the Wildsbower Apex monsters you may have come up against within your travels. This is a 7 star quest which should be relatively easy to complete for high level players as long as you stock up and bring the right weapons for the fight. I recommend you bring some screamer pods for Diablos to prevent him from going underground but that's entirely up to you as it's not really needed. I also recommend you do this solo as the scaling for monsters health are much more lower as there are multiple monsters to fight, meaning you can go kill a monster depending on your gear and weapon within at least 5 to 10 minutes depending on how fast you can speedrun this. This event is quite nice for gathering higher rank materials within one go, and also net you a few rare materials or loads of plates that I end up finding out. You can also go ahead and sell the materials if you don't need them for a hefty amount of zenny in the end. The event also has a high chance to give you a giant and miniature crown if you're also looking to get that trophy. Next we have the Snow and Cherry Blossom event quest, which puts you up against a Tempered Legiana and a Pink Raffian. This is a 9 star quest which is ideal for high level players and is quite a tough one to do solo as the monsters do more damage than normal. I advise you to bring some flash bombs and bugs to help you deal with these two and be prepared as these two can kill you within 2 hits if you're not properly geared. They don't give any rare decoration from what I've noticed but they do increase your hunter rank by quite a lot and also a great way to get level 2 tempered investigation if you're after those as well. Lastly we have a challenge arena based quest which is a intermediate 7 star version. This quest will put you up against both Raffalos and a Tizi Tizi Yaku within the Gathering Hall Arena. All you need to do is slay both of them and collect your rewards of a few arena based coins. And that everyone is the end of that, I hope the video provided the information you need to know about the events and what they may hold for you. If you enjoyed the video then a like and a sub would be appreciated. If not then leave a dislike and I'll go over the video to see what I need to improve on in the near future. So thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.